Hello patrons, today we are here to discuss my uh, basically new take on uh, Merktide. We are uh, talking about uh, uh, this uh, strange mid-range uh, uh, pile of cards that uh, is uh, my new shell. I'm playing two Fable of the Mirror Break and one Tishana Tate Binder in the flex slot. And uh, in the sideboard we have a uh, very slim white splash just for Revelation on. So, um, basically, uh, the ideas behind the deck is Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a very strong card uh, against the metagame, especially against Scum, but uh, gives us uh, um, a lot of room of improvement in a lot of matchups. We just played uh, a league that will be on YouTube, so you will see how Fable is basically one of the cards you really want to draw uh, at, any point, at any point of the game because it can cycle away bad cards. We got uh, someone that brought us uh, uh, against us a ley line so we could discard the, the Merktide, someone just played the Chalice on one so we could discard an only hit and lightning bolt and uh, it happens uh, quite uh, often I have to say that uh, the flipping side of the fable so the reflection ends up being good with uh, our creature plan especially post board that we have more copies of it. Uh, about the Tishana type binder, uh, I will write something about this card uh, very soon, but uh, now I think uh, uh, I don't have my mind super clear about it. I think it's fine uh, to have in a couple of copies, one in the main and one in the sideboard. Uh, as I mentioned uh, a lot of time, having four Predator, four iteration, four DRC, and two Fables now means uh, uh, having someone off uh, is not a bad uh, sign because you can uh, look for those or just uh, uh, be in it if, they, if you don't need those but uh, having multiple copies, I don't know if it's a free drop so maybe you can uh, make an argument of putting uh, uh, more of this card in the main deck, cutting the fables and I will probably try that uh, version but I think uh, um, I, I just prefer, like I think fable is just a better card overall uh, um, of what, like for uh, the matchups I consider uh, uh, the top tier of uh, uh, the modern so for now i just have to i can i can uh, uh, see having more copies of the card this card though um the rest is quite the same so we have four ragavan for it three bolts uh, three counter spells you know this is my uh, my gem i usually play this split of counter spell uh, force spells and spell pierce uh two stability i think if you really want to play with four counter spells uh, you can just uh, um, cut uh, one of those cards um, but try to not alterate the numbers of uh, the other cards and then we have one Fury main deck I think uh, um, I, I like this card, I think Yagmoth is on the rise uh, this card is also relevant uh, versus Kam, it's relevant versus Four Color it, it's relevant versus Rhinos so I think having access to one main deck is not a bad, th a bad thing but uh, of course again you can just do um, like this if you prefer, sorry, <laughs> the Tishana or you can just uh, uh, switch with the card but uh, I uh, strongly suggest to have two in the 75 right now really, I really like Fury in general and uh, uh, we just have two Morktide I still think Morktide is one of the premium threat of the format but still um, versus, those, versus some decks is just uh, uh, not great especially for color and uh, I don't know, even uh, decks with the uh, Gravy Update main deck, it happened that uh, like against uh, Yagmo they, they have Endurance main deck, against uh, Tron they have uh, Relic of Progenitus main deck, or just uh, like Lele Binding decks, so I think 2 is the right number with uh, all what is going on, so we are more of a mid-range deck that isn't abusing the graveyard uh, um, as before and uh, like having for uh, DRC that uh, attacks each turn so mm, 2 is probably the number I, I would sleep uh, in this week of uh, November and uh, looking at the sideboard uh, I think we have basically um, more numbers of the cards we play main deck so we have uh, um, sort of my mana value so starting with a suite of uh, cheap counter spell we have a null uh, mostly for, uh, uh, of course, for color, but it also is a good card versus Tron, it's a good card versus uh, um, uh, Scales, 
and hammer, of course, so just a decent one to have in the sideboard. We have scolding for uh, uh, Yagmoth, Scam, uh, uh, Titan. Of course, this one is good versus Titan. And generally speaking, uh, uh, a lot of matchups uh, that are currently being played. Star Scolding is, of course, quite versatile because it can answer from Grief to the Riot of the Elysian Grove. So I like to have two, two Flusters on just because I think Yagmoth is on, sorry, uh, Rhinos is on the rise. So uh, this card is just uh, a lazy sideboard card, but of course, you can you can make an argument for bringing in more uh, explosive, but since the Shona Tide Binder is a card right now, I think explosive is a little less well positioned as before. So I like to have two flusters or just to make sure I don't uh, uh, die to a chain of cascade spells. And then eventually, like if this flaster zombie is not good anymore, I can always uh, discard it with Fable. So uh, this is for the one mana counter spell. Then we have. Uh, two cards against uh, a creature's deck. We have Corset Totem, of course, is basically the silver bullet that answers the Yakmoth matchup. Um, it doesn't uh, answer uh, uh, Aketa Soul Cauldron, and you can make, make an argument this card is a bit narrow, and probably is, yes. Also, because uh, Ardenet Scales is not uh, um, a premium deck as it was before, so you can uh, cut this card to have uh, uh, one more card against the matchups you like, but for now, I just uh, like to have it in the sideboard. Uh, basically same for the, for dress down. I, I don't really love this card. Um, I think it's quite uh, medium at doing anything anything uh, uh, it does besides answering uh, uh, all the saga tokens. I uh, doing that is phenomenal. That's why I think mostly I have in the sideboard. I was thinking about adding uh, like a flame of honor uh, in one of the two slots, but uh, I think it's fine just to have those cards for now. As I said, I didn't have like a lot of time to test. Uh, I'm kind of busy working with the uh, Wizarded Fairs. So um, for now, just take the sideboard as it is. If you want to change a card for another uh, that is strictly better, in your opinion, you can do that. Then we have uh, uh, Narset, Bloodwoon and Tishana. Um, so a lot of one-offs, but uh, uh, as I said, with the cantrips, uh, you can just play this this game plan. So an artist is mostly for ring decks, but also uh, is phenomenal versus beans. Uh, Tishana is against very strong versus a lot of decks, uh, especially Cascade and ring decks. Uh, then uh, Blood Moon is mostly for big mana, but also um, again for color is sometimes relevant, sometimes not. Sabeti and Fury, those are uh, uh, they, those try to. Um, potentiate the uh, other copies we have in the main and especially versus playline decks uh, it's fine to bring in those and cut uh, um, some Murtide or some uh, DRCs so you are less uh, um, re uh, graveyard uh, re reliant then we have the explosives mostly for rhinos but also for scales and uh, uh, hammer time and random creature decks you face in leagues so merfolk etc and then uh, the last card I want to talk about is Alish Norn. I think uh, uh, this card is uh, uh, one of the best ones to answer uh, completely the bean matchup. For now, I play uh, the bean matchup, uh, especially the Cascade Bean version, boarding out all my uh, creatures besides Ragavan. So I board out uh, uh, two uh, Mortad and four DRC, and I bring in Alish Norn, Fury, so, um, and, and of course the other cards. You will see uh, the sideboard uh, in the sideboard guide uh, that is uh, currently um, being uh, written on, on Patreon. You will find that uh, soon. So Alishnar is basically the way you play the game. So you, you play a control deck, removing uh, all the threats, and then you slam the the Alishnar and uh, um, basically th th their deck does nothing, and then you try to win. Uh, um, getting advantage of your cards. Uh, of course, you have to make sure two things. Uh, uh, first is uh, you can't read enough beans so they can just uh, play all their elements alt drone for each time. And the second thing is uh, you are not dying to um, their uh, race, their blood blade elf, etc. So try to uh, use your uh, removal wisely. And uh, I, I think that plan works. Like uh, a lot of people. Uh, in the pattern already told me uh, they like that plan and I will uh, 
of course test it anymore. Uh, I, I used to play um, Narset Blood is Undoing, I like that plan, but it was a bit uh, uh, sideboard intensive. So, and of course, I think like the bin matchup, uh, we came a bit over prepared for it, but it's not being uh, played up at all. If you look at the result of the deck in challenges, it's not really a threatening deck at the moment. So, if you expect a lot of that, maybe uh, the Narset version with Time Twister uh, in the sideboard is better, but uh, for now, we just have like to have a silver bullet. Uh, that uh, uh, switch the matchup in your favor. And uh, speaking about that matchup specifically, um, sometimes uh, I think uh, cutting the DLC is not correct because of course this card is great, but uh, you have to open a hand with DLC and also they play Fire Eyes, etc. So um, I don't know, I think this card in mid game is basically almost always dead because they have um, a lot of blockers, they bring in endurance. Uh, and uh, being able to make this one uh, uh, the card that wins you the game uh, might be tough. So I'd rather have uh, I'd rather just play the game as a control uh, um, deck with preordain iteration of able to cycle away the cards and then uh, find my my bullet rational. Um Probably if you expect a lot of that, you can even play another copy of Elishnorn. You can probably cut the rest down since I haven't like it much. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I, I talked about this matchup a lot, but you will find how to sideboard properly in the sideboard guide. And uh, I think I explained everything of the deck. Uh, hope you like it and hope you do well uh, with your uh, Morted deck. Good, uh, good luck.